So if you all don't know us already, I'm Tisha Copeland at Not Your Mama's Quilt Store in Plano, Texas. This is Lori, my manager right here, and she's usually my cohort in crime here. Yes. And um, when we do go to uh, split screen with Laura, I'm not sure if it no, will I'm still not. have room for both it's of us. Fine. I don't know. We'll just have to see. <laughs> but as you all know, uh, Lori is my right hand person here. So we are very excited to be starting this and having our first guest with us. We've got some great guests coming up next Wednesday. Is it Wednesday or Friday? We have Lynn Haley. It's Friday. We have Lynn Haley who will be joining us. She's an award-winning quilter and our exclusive quilter for us. And we also have um, Krista Moser who will be joining us. We have Jamie Fingal. We just have some great people coming up. So without further ado, it is about 2.02. And if you will just, um, again, share this so that other people can join in on the fun, watch this, and let's be really welcoming to Laura. I am going to let her in right here. And there she is. Hello, how are you? Oh, great, I'm so happy to be here. We are so happy to have you. So I get to see you in person now. I'm Tisha Copeland and Laura. Lori. <laughs> Lori's my manager, and you may have seen my daughter who is right behind us here also. This is like my core crew. <laughs> Love it. And I've got five more staff members that are phenomenal. So I know they're all out there watching. Awesome. And Thank you. Can you hear so me okay? Much. I know it's getting a little breezy out here. I'm outside, so if it gets too windy, tell me and I can pop in. No, it <laughs> sounds perfect for from our end. We're just so happy to have you. So fun. We were just talking about your line that you did called Brightly Blooming, and I was showing some of the fabric from it. Tell us about this line and what inspired you. Oh man, it's such a passion project of mine. I I am so excited about it and I'm so grateful that you guys brought it into your shop. It's my first ever fabric line. So I couldn't be more thrilled to be working with Moda and have this beautiful product, uh, marrying fine art and uh, sewing, which are two of my favorite things to do. So um brightly blooming. I, I'm really inspired by everything in nature around me, especially florals. And um, a lot of the things that I do in my fine art are being carried over into the into the sewing fabric. So um, it's really about just like exploring my love of nature and finding ways to share that joy with all of you guys. So it's been really, really fun to see these pieces that start out as paintings and have all of this texture and flow and movement have the opportunity to have that digitally printed on fabric and keep that like really amazing texture and detail has been, it's just been amazing to see it come to life and feel so fresh and vibrant. And so Brightly Blooming's just like a love child of my, um, my art that I do and I have a an Instagram and Facebook page for that as well but um the inspiration really is just nature and beautiful color and positivity um I have a couple panels in this line that really help you know showcase the feelings that I want to share with others the there are always flowers with those who wish to see them and also you are so loved so I just like I want to give everybody out there a big hug with this fabric line and just share the joy it's gorgeous so somebody asked where are you from I live in Utah um, if you know where that is and that's where I grew up and I still live there. I love it to death It's a beautiful place. Um, I grew up just on the bench of the Wasatch mountain range oh. So it's just they're like the mountains are my home. I love them so much. Oh, wow That's gorgeous. I think you said you were up in the mountains or you were out at the lake this week when we I are. Yes, I actually 
packed up my kids. It's just me and my three kids. I have a 12 year old, an eight year old, and a five year old. And we just got out of Dodge. We packed up our stuff. <laughs> I brought some sewing projects and we are camping out up in the cabin so it's oh, in Lake, Utah and I'm actually I could maybe turn my camera around and show you guys the view I don't know if it would work oh, oh my gosh that's gorgeous oh Just my a gosh. little view of the lake look at the mountains <laughs> there so look. I'm kind of up in up in the hills and looking out at the lake and it's my favorite spot to escape. <laughs> yeah. So you said you were working on another fabric line um, that you could maybe tell us a little bit about. You weren't sure yet. Man, I Well, I can't show you samples right. of the fabric right. that I have in my possession, but I can tell you a few little teaser things about it. Um, I am super excited about this line. Uh, Brightly Blooming was kind of like a baby launch line, so it only had 12 SKUs and, mm -hmm. well, and then the panels and things like that, but my second line is a sister line to Brightly Blooming, um, and it is a greatly expanded offering of fabrics and more mochi linens, um, and we've got a big, gorgeous panel and then also a smaller um, project panel. So there's so many fun things, but all the really cool thing about this line is that all of the colors blend with Brightly Blooming as well. So if Yay. you're picking up some Brightly Blooming fabric, you might want to get a little extra to keep on hand for your next sewing project with the second fabric line. And I know um, quilt stores will get a peek at it here at the end of this month with their Moda wraps. And then I believe it ships in the fall. So it's, it is like the kind of moodier, swankier sister to Brightly Blooming. And I am in love with all of it. <laughs> I'm going to steal that, the swankier sister. Yes. <laughs> Me and my sisters. I don't know if they're watching. I'm the swankier sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love your line, and um, I was playing with the canvas last night, and I made a bag out of it. I don't know oh. if you can see it. Isn't that fun? That is gorgeous. Mochi. Oh, my gosh. Don't you love sewing with that linen? It's so fun to sew with. How beautiful that turned out. I'm ready to take it somewhere. So I was playing with it last night, and I'm working on your gorgeous quilt right now, and you saw oh. this uh, Yesterday, that is so, so beautiful. I love the darks. That pattern is just so pretty that you designed. It is so pretty. Um, oh, thank you. Yes, I love it. So somebody asked, do you name your line of fabric or does Moda name it? Oh, I name it. Yeah. Nice. So the designers in, are in charge of all of their fabric skew names and the line name. And Moda has been really just so wonderful about everything that I've thrown at them. They've loved it and run with it and they've been just like a dream to work with. So yeah, I think they're a pretty great company myself. I really like them. Yeah. So um what's your favorite fabric out of the brightly blooming one right now? <laughs> that is a hard, hard question. Um well of course the flower party fabric. I have some well let's see. I've got my little sample oh, nice. yeah. um, you know I I'm especially a big fan of oh let's see of the botanicals it yeah. comes in the three different colors the blue and the green and the fuchsia mm -hmm. I love those because I do a lot of um, painting in like a cyanotype inspired design mm -hmm. um, which is a photo process and I won't nerd out on the details of that too much for you, but um, that's one of my favorite pieces of the line. It's one of the cool things about it is that it keeps all of the negative space has the painting. And when I painted this piece, I actually didn't paint, like the white is not painted at all. So it's sketched out and then I paint around the leaves and the stem. So it's a really meticulous kind of time consuming process, but it's just kind of a, 
something that I love very much. So that's a favorite. And then of course, the big flower party fabric. Awesome. You know, that was kind of the, the inspiration fabric for the line. So it was the first piece that I painted to kick off the line and everything else kind of trickled in um, with it to go with the color scheme that I created. So this is, it's just like happiness to me. All the colors, all the texture, all the movement is so fun. And really, honestly, you'd think that like with working with a, a pattern for so long that you'd kind of get over it and you'd be like, oh, I'm ready for the next thing. But every time I pull this fabric out, I'm like, oh, I love it. I love it even more. So it's not something you get tired of. <laughs> stuff with it besides the quilt, the, the patterns. Have you made anything oh. else? Yeah. Um, I I didn't get to show it at Christmas time, but I sewed um, bags and zipper pouches for all of my nieces and nephews out of the fabric. Oh, and yeah. all of my sisters. Oh, sorry, I'm eating my hair here. Um, and just pretty much everybody got a brightly blooming gift at Christmas. So that was really, really fun. And um, of course the quilts, and I've also done some really fun bags with the mochi linen. So you've been doing some of that too. Um, I've been having fun with the mochi linen and have given several um, bags as gifts that are more of like a purse style. So that's been really fun. And I have endless more projects on my list. <laughs> I've yes. done some masks. I actually was going to bring my mask out here to show you guys that I've been wearing around, but I left it out in the car. So, <laughs> but you know, masks are an essential right now when you go out and about. So I've been doing some of those, but really that's about it, I think. So when you designed this line, did you sit down and come up with your designs for a fabric line or did you have your designs and said, hmm, these would look really pretty as fabric? Um, that's a really good question. So I started out um, with my stationery company called Create Joy Project. That's Ooh. kind of where, where it was born. And I had some really beautiful, well, do have some really beautiful luxury gift wrap that I used this flower party print on. And it was one of my gift wrap prints. And actually, mini story, that's where I ran into um, Jamie and Cheryl of Moda was at the New York Stationery Show, um, National Stationery Show in New York. And um, they saw the designs that I had for gift wrap and the greeting cards. And we just kind of hit it off and talked about fabric creation. So those were a favorite. Um, as well as the floral wreath um, designs that I had with sayings in the center. So that's where our big panels came from. So that was a pre-existing design, but all of the supporting um, fabrics, the textural prints um, with the brush strokes and the watercolor washes that I can talk to you about. I have some details that people might not know about. About those were all created to um, make a full circle fabric line around that flower party fabric. Mm -hmm. So it was existing, but when I do design, I usually sit down and come up with the one big bang like fabric that is the inspiration to bring everything else together. Very cool. So where do you find the time to do this? You still have three littles at home. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you know what? Art for me and design and sewing and all of these passion projects that I like to call them are just part of my myself. And I realized after having my third baby um, that I just had to make time for the creative part of myself because it's what makes me feel most alive and, you know, when you nurture that creativity. So wonderfully, I have a husband and kids who understand and love that part of me and help me have time to be able to do that. So I do a lot of painting in the evenings. And um, when my kids are at school or used to be at school, I got a lot of design done. But um, we, as a family, we do a lot of art together. So my, when I'm sitting down, oh, sorry, 
I don't know how to turn off the notifications on my computer. That's me. Oh, okay. Um, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> that's totally me. When I sit down to do art at home, I have um, multiple tables in my um, studio, and I set up my little kids, and they paint with me, and they do crafts. So we do a lot of this together as a family, and um, it's just really important to me that they have the opportunity to express their creativity as well. So it's really kind of a family thing. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. That is so cool. Um, somebody asked, do you design the quilt patterns that go with the fabric? Um, I have been, have had the opportunity to design alongside Natalie Crabtree. She is a wonderful pattern designer and writer, and she has been kind of my partner in crime on these quilt patterns. So we've got um, the first three that we launched with um, brightly blooming and then we have four more patterns coming out with our sister line that are so fun but um, yes so we get together as a team and we design them and she does the um, writing of the patterns and she's very very fantastic at that mm -hmm. um, so I like to make sure that I'm working really hard on the creative end and the design end and she does a lot of the writing and technical end for me and she's so brilliant and so skilled. So it's been an, a wonderful experience to work with her as well. This is, I love the fabric line, absolutely one of my favorites. And I always think it's so cool that when a designer gets to design fabric, that it's going to be something that somebody might see a hundred years from now. And it's yours because yes, we get stationary and yes, we buy art for our homes, but that's not always something that is passed down or maybe we like it for a while and then we change the decor of our homes or the stationery, the birthday card or whatever eventually gets um, recycled or thrown away or whatever. You know, at some point it does, it doesn't last. But quilts tend to get passed down and passed down and passed down. And I always thought, wouldn't that be cool to um, see something in 40 years and go, that's my creation. I did that. <laughs> and, oh, I did that that's so cool. that is such an amazing like part that I feel so honored about. I was talking to my husband just the other night about that it's it's amazing to me that something that I created with love and just that means so much to me, you guys are inviting into your homes and it becomes part of your heirloom and part of your family story. Mm -hmm. And it means so much to me. Oh my gosh, you're gonna like make me get emotional about it because it, it really, it's, it's incredible to be a part of that creative process with other people and it connects us in like a very tangible way that lasts for wow. generations. And so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty incredible and I'm grateful to every single person who sees the joy in my fabrics and wants to take it home and create with it and gift it to others. And I just feel like it's a perpetual chain of love, and joy and happiness. I love it. Yeah, it really is. So somebody else asked, how long have you been sewing and painting? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, when I was a little girl, probably like eight or nine, um, my mom put me in sewing school. Mm -hmm. So um, I've, I've always been like, I don't know, you would call it like just a perpetual creator type of a person. When I was a little kid, I would, it was like my favorite thing to go in my mom's sewing scrap box and she would just let me have free reign and I would design outfits for my Barbies and just do all sorts of ridiculous concoctions. And it was that way with pretty much everything for me. So I was really grateful to have, you know, my grandmas and my mom and so many like amazing seamstresses and quilters around me growing up. So they gave me the opportunity to learn a lot. So I've been sewing since I was really young. Um, I would say my first quilt was made in high school that was like a significantly pieced quilt. Uh -huh. uh, and I still have it. <laughs> and it was an Americana themed quilt with these cute little trucks and American flags. It was really fun. So yeah. I've been sewing for a really long time. And then art, um, is my true love. I, I, I 
Oh gosh, for pretty much my whole life, I've been drawing in elementary school. All I ever did was draw these little faces and these little cartoons and things like that. But when I was in junior high, my mom put me, my mom and my grandma put me in private drawing lessons. Mm -hmm. so that's kind of where it became more of a part of my life than just a fun little hobby. And I really continued my um, artistic process from there, from then on. So I started in um, colored pencil and then moved to oils in high school and throughout a lot of my adult life and then swung over to watercolors about four years ago. Uh, watercolor and acrylic kind of mixed media, which is what I'm doing most of the time right now. And I, I love it so much because of the amazing uncontrollable texture and movement that you get with watercolor or you can get if you paint yeah. it in abstract style. So it's so freeing to me. It's really kind of like a therapeutic uh, process. And I would really call it like my my zen time like in the evenings or if i'm overwhelmed or stressed or unhappy if i go and paint nothing nothing's a problem anymore it's just oh, fantastic I know, it's I, I, I know i know i'm the same way i i grew up painting and drawing as well and i love watercolor your 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 uh fabric has made me think maybe i need to pull out my watercolors and and pick this up again but i know when i'm tired and i'm stressed out and i'm just you know just at the end of my rope my husband even recognizes that i need to go and create he's like why don't you go do art or why don't you go do so just go to your room and <laughs> yes. and so it is amazing that it is like that for the soul that you just really need to create it. It is Zen because lots of times I'm sitting there working and it's quiet. I don't have the TV on. And I sometimes I'm praying at the same time that I'm working because it is quiet and I can concentrate on it and, and yeah. think about what I'm doing and for who I'm doing it. So I get it. I, I totally get it. Yeah. Somebody else asked, did you ever think you would be designing fabric? You know, it's been like a secret hope of mine for years, <laughs> but it felt like this out of reach, crazy goal. You know what I mean? Like when I really started painting full-time professionally, it was a goal of mine and it was on my short list of this would be incredible. I would feel like I made it as a human being if I got my art on fabric, but um, I really feel like it's incredibly um, humbling to have the opportunity to do that because my art can reach so many people where they are. You know what I mean? Right. When right. I was just doing fine art, not everybody collects fine art. Not everybody has it in their budget or, um, you know, so it's really hard to share your joy with everybody on that scale. So that's where Create Joy Project came to life was just my my want and my need to share joy to everybody. Um, and so that's where greeting cards came in because it's something that everybody uses and everybody can bring into their home. So no, I didn't I didn't really think that it would happen. <laughs> I hoped that it would happen and I feel very blessed that I have had the opportunity to yeah. be part of fabric design and I do feel like I have been just super blessed to be able to land in the right place at the right time and a lot of it is having faith in yourself and being confident in what you have to offer and um, be, be yourself and be true to who you are and if you do that and you put yourself out there you'll, you'll run into the right people and uh, things will start happening for you so it's been, it's been a wonderful experience. That's cool. That is really cool. So I have somebody else. What type, what's your favorite type of quilting to do? Oh my goodness. Well, let me tell you something about me. I am not a hyper skilled professional quilter. So I am totally this quilting hobbyist. My mother-in-law, Kathy, I don't know if she's watching this. She's an incredible quilter. She can do anything she does. I mean, she's just amazing at quilting. And so really, 
my favorite kind of quilts are things that um, I can do that are not overwhelming to me. So a lot of my quilting design has to feel accessible to a wide um, range of people because really what the kind of quilting that I do is pretty simple piecing. Um, I am starting into some applique that is fairly simple, um, but that's really the gambit of my experience at this point. So I, I'm really diving in and wanting to learn and try new things, but um, just fun piecing. My, probably the most intricate, intricate quilt that I've made has had a bunch of um, stars and different things like that, but it wasn't anything crazy beyond um, just cutting and piecing. Right. So something that I can do that doesn't stress me out, that brings uh, the vision to life with beautiful colors. And really it's about the experience of finding the fabric that inspires me and um, sharing it with others. So I love doing um, quilting and sewing for gifts. I've done really most of the quilts I've made have been gifts for my kids or family. So that's the kind of quilting I do. <laughs> so you said you started sewing when you were younger and you would do Barbie clothes. And I used to do Barbie clothes also. I'm much older than you, but I did Barbie clothes also. And uh, I always tease with people and say, oh, clothing sewing is not hard at all. I can set in a sleeve this big. <laughs> So a sleeve this big has nothing on me. I can do it. <laughs> I do. I love garment sewing. I, I do a lot of that. And I did when my kids were really little, especially my daughter, who's now 12. I loved designing and creating clothing for her. So I did a lot of that um, in the last like eight years. Just because it was something that was useful. I love I love sewing that feels useful and fulfills a purpose and isn't right. just merely decorative. So um, garment sewing is really fun as well. That's one thing that I love about this fabric line and the feel of the mono fabric is you can really use it for garment sewing. You can do it with for anything. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Well, I promised I wouldn't keep you too long and I so appreciate you joining us. I think everybody was very excited to meet you today. And um, I just want to tell you, thank you. I appreciate it. We've had a great time. And, and uh, I hope you will be able to share this with your friends and family so they can see it also. I know it's stay on my website and on, oops, sorry, and on YouTube also. So we're on both platforms okay. right now. Yes, and we're very excited. So thank you so much for joining us, Laura. And I don't know what you did with the kids, but they were so quiet for you. <laughs> you know, my, my sweet 12-year-old took the kids out for a little uh, secret some kind of craft or project. They wouldn't even tell me what it was, but they're outside in the neighborhood here all together. So she's an incredible help. <laughs> that is awesome. So yeah. you know, find out where they are and then um, and and get everybody rounded up again. Okay. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank it's you. so nice to meet you. And thank so you to everybody who tuned in. Thank you. Thanks. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Did you all enjoy that? Was that so much fun? Isn't she the cutest and most fabulous person? I just had a blast talking with her. I am going to sit down and just so, 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 I've got so much more stuff I want to do with her fabric and her designs so much fun. I don't know if you saw the bag that I did. This is done with the linen that um, is in her line. So pretty. It's a nice big bag like this. You can carry it. You can pinch in the sides if you want to like this. If you want to do that or you can just carry it like this. I have the pattern here and you can carry it like this. Such a fun little thing. And I'm working on one of her quilts right now that's going to be a sample. So I am so excited. Be sure to join us on Friday for Ask Us Anything. And um, yes, I still have some questions coming in. Okay, is, is her linen machine washable? Yes, it is. It is.
is a Moda linen, and so it is machine washable. And the and Barbara is it hard to make? This pattern is was a little bit tricky, but let me tell you what I did. I rewrote the pattern um, this past weekend, and I redid the pattern, how to put it together, and it came together in a snap. I actually worked on it this morning, and all together from beginning to end, it took me about three hours. So I was thinking about doing a Zoom class where people could Zoom in and we could work on the bag together. Give me a thumbs up if you would like to do that or say, um, yes, I want to do a Zoom class and work on that. What we'd have to do is get you the fabric and the pattern and then schedule a date to do the class. And we would do it on Zoom. I would limit it to maybe about 12 people to work on so that I am able to help everybody and get it made. And I think it would be a lot of fun. So if you would like to have that class, let me know. And then um, I'll be sure to put it on my class list and maybe we can do that. I have a couple of ideas. I'm also thinking about doing a Laura Heine Zoom class so that we can, can work on it um, all together. So I think that would be a lot of fun too. So I'm going to sign off now. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. And thank you to Laura for joining us today. I thought it was just a wonderful interview. This Friday, it is me and Lori in Ask Us Anything. And then next Friday will be Lynn Haley. She will be interviewing, she will be co-hosting with me. And she's going to talk about PSA, which is your personal seam allowance. And I'm very anxious to hear what she says about this because, ladies, I have been fighting with my personal seam allowance this past weekend. Oh, my word. It had me just throwing fits. So we would... Um, have how we will have her talking to us on Friday, not this Friday, next Friday about personal seam allowances, how it affects your quilt, and what do your quilters look for when you give your quilt to the quilter to do her magic, her long arm magic. What is she looking for to make your job go easier, make her job go easier and make your quilt look spectacular? So thank you for joining us. My name is Tisha Copeland. I'm at Not Your Mama's Quilt Store in Plano, Texas. Today is Wednesday, May 6th, and it's about 2.33 right now. And I appreciate it. We will see you on Friday. Bye.